You're LAZ Throwback Thursdays, you heard me? It's a double header pause. Know what I mean? Franklin double header. First, I'm talking about some of the craziest workout maniacs I ever knew up north. Shout out to the boy Big Arm Butch. You heard? Seen him the other day in Harlem. Shout out to the boy Shay. You feel me? We moving out here. Z Man, Suicide Polo, Ski Man. You heard? Gen Pop Gang in the building, Comment Gang in the building, Slim Blunt Gang was popping. Holla at me. Every jail that I was in, I was in like seven to eight facilities. So right now I did Franklin and Green, did some Rikers Island stuff, but I still got to do Downstate, Happy Hudson. Know what I mean? That wasn't so happy when we was there. Camp Gabriel. I was in Franklin twice. So a lot of dudes that's reading my post that was in Franklin with me, know what I mean? Keep that in mind. I was in Franklin two times. I went to Gabriel and then came and caught a ticket, a tier three, and they took, sent me back to Franklin, a whole different jail. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell that story, but I'm gonna talk about my little bit of time spent in Clinton. I'm gonna talk about my time in Comstock, you know what I mean? Which is one of the craziest, uh, Adventures, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about it all, each each facility by facility. You feel what I'm saying? But um, a lot of dudes want me to talk about some of the dudes I knew who was working out up north that was monsters. You know what I mean? So for each jail, each facility, I'm gonna tell you who the, the dudes that was there that I remember that was workout maniacs. If you see those videos and you was in that facility. You understand what I'm saying at the time? And you remember other dudes that was working out crazy. Whether you was there when I was there or not. You know what I mean? Chime in on the comments and let it be known the dudes you remember that was maniacs in that workout shack, in that gym, in that weight room, in the yard. But like, yo, I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to get to safety. This shit, this shit crazy out here, my nigga. Nigga be better off wearing motherfucking sneakers than boots. Like, these boots be slippery, more slippery than sneakers. Sneakers be rubber. Come on, man. I'm getting snow down in my boot. You know, that's the worst, nigga. Once that snow get in your boot, it's over, nigga. It's over. But it's like, yo. So in Franklin, some of the dudes I remember that was workout maniacs. I'm talking about maniacs. I ain't even going to name niggas unless niggas was maniacs or had some type of maniac characteristic to their workout. But number one on the list, Clinton Correctional Facility. Now, you know, that's that pot quote. You understand what I'm saying? But number one on the list, I remember a dude named King Kong. He was a Spanish nigga. He was a professional bodybuilder in the street that just got locked up. This nigga was so brolic, hence the name King Kong. Word to everything I love, that nigga had the biggest legs I ever seen on a human being. And that's a fact. Anybody that was in Franklin on the on the old side, on the in the main, they remember that nigga. This nigga name was King Kong. And fuck squat in the yard. That nigga was squatting the whole jail. You heard? That nigga was doing reckless shit like putting six plates on each side where it ain't no room to clamp the plates on niggas had to just stay there and hold them shits while he squat like yo these niggas is loose nigga was squatting the whole jail my nigga had everybody getting everybody into a leg workout that nigga legs was so big one of his legs was bigger than both of my legs put together and that's a fact and i'm talking about now while i'm 250 260 you know i'm a fat nigga but anyway you understand what i'm saying that nigga was one of the most Maniac working out niggas I ever knew in my life King Kong Then It was a dude named Trini My son Trini Oh my god King Kong had the biggest legs But the nigga Trini had the strongest legs I ever seen Yo you know what this nigga used to do That nigga used to This is on This is on my soul nigga This nigga used to tell niggas I got a car in the cigarettes to any nigga in this dorm that could move one of my legs. Son, this nigga used to get in the shower, my nigga, with a wet shower floor with shower slippers on. You feel what I'm saying? Stand there with both of his legs locked into the floor and be like, I got a carton for any nigga that could move my leg. 
of my kids, nigga. I done seen two niggas on each leg slipping and falling on the floor in the shower trying to move that nigga leg to get that carton of cigarettes, my nigga. And I've never seen that nigga pay nobody a carton of cigarettes, you hear me? This nigga named Trini. Nigga had the strongest legs in the universe, my nigga. That nigga used to be like, if your legs get this strong, nobody gonna be able to knock you out. He was like, niggas be getting knocked out because they ain't got no legs. He said, straight up, when your legs are strong like this and a nigga rock your jaw, your legs don't turn to noodles, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga was like, yo, all that power that come from them punches, that shit come from your legs, nigga. He was like, if you ain't got them legs, you ain't got nothing. You heard? Leave a comment if you agree with that. Cause I seen a lot of niggas up north skipping them leg workouts. I used to make fun of my niggas. Niggas used to be, my son Crime and Glock, them niggas is funny. Them niggas just do arms and chest. Every day, I be like, yo, what y'all niggas doing today? Arms. Son, y'all niggas just did arms two days ago. Nah, son, these arms gotta be right when we go home, son. Fuck all that other shit, nigga. I need these guns. This chest, you feel what I'm saying? Them niggas was arms and chest maniacs. But nah, they did other shit too. But they was arms and chest maniacs. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom. Who else? This nigga named Mustafa. This Muslim nigga named Mustafa from Brooklyn. It's my bro. Yo, that nigga right there... You wouldn't even know he brolic like that. He got one of them physiques that under his clothes, you would just be sleeping like, oh, this nigga a regular nigga. Until he peel off them, that shirt or whatever, my nigga. That nigga was professional bodybuilder status and literally the most cut up nigga I ever saw in my life. Ever. That's how I found out that cuts be everything. Because I'm telling you, one time I'm like, yo, Mustafa, let me hold a shirt for the visiting floor. Because that nigga had a wardrobe wardrobe. You feel me? Son had about 10 in at the time. You understand what I'm saying? But that nigga had a wardrobe wardrobe. You feel what I'm saying? So I used to be like, yo, son, I'm going on a visit, bro. Let me hold. Now I mean? Son was way older than me. I was a kid, like 18. You understand what I'm saying? I used to be like, yo, son. I used to be like, yo, bro, let me hold. Let me hold a shirt or something. That nigga like, yo, go ahead. One time a nigga, one time I was asking that nigga, yo, let me hold a shirt to go on the visiting floor. He like, yo, go ahead, pick one. I go to the nigga Q. I try to try on one of the nigga shirts. Shit tight as hell. I couldn't fit that shit. I'm like, what? I'm like, my bro, how the hell I can't fit this shirt? And you brolic as a motherfucker. Way more brolic than me. Know what I mean? So I'm just like, nah, nigga. That's these cuts, you heard? They'll fool you. I'm like, wow. So, you know I mean, that's when I found out. Definition is everything, bro. You ain't gotta be a big, brolic dude. You feel what I'm saying? If you cut up crazy, you gonna look like a big, brolic dude. And that's a fact. Now, the most outrageous nigga that used to work out in Franklin was a nigga from Harlem. Now, like I said, if I'm forgetting niggas, Leave comments and chime in. But the nigga who I remember, who was the most maniac workout nigga on the planet Earth in the history of New York State Correction, that nigga Big Arm Butch from Harlem. That's my word. If you was in Franklin, you remember that nigga Big Arm Butch. On everything I love, on my soul, this nigga used to be in the yard doing a hundred pull-ups, a clip. Do you hear me? This nigga had about, when I met son, he probably had about 15 in, I don't know, or more. This nigga was doing a hundred a clip. I used to be embarrassed to get on a bar and try to do a pull-up. When I started doing pull-ups, I literally couldn't do one pull-up. Niggas had to hold my legs so I could pull up. See, I'm different. I came to jail, I had zero muscle mass, zero. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga, I used to be a fat nigga back in the days. Anybody from the Ville know. Then I was a skinny ass nigga before I caught my case. Nigga, 0% muscle mass. Nothing. I could not do one push-up or one pull-up. I had no muscle in my body, literally. And that's a fact. I started working out with my son Deshaun from Connecticut that was in Downstate. 
who's related to a real legendary nigga that was getting extremely retardedly busy in the four building. You feel me? But my nigga Deshaun from Connecticut is a whole nother story and tale. You understand what I'm saying? But he one of the realest niggas I ever knew in my life from CT. Niggas be sleeping on CT niggas, they different. You heard? Them niggas is different. They get super busy. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, Big Arm Butch, this nigga was doing a hundred a clip, my nigga. He used to be on in the yard like, these niggas jerking wreck with this 10 a clip and 12 a clip. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he used to be getting niggas into shape on some militant shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? He like, niggas fucking them my workout. This nigga be doing a hundred fucking pull-ups and, and resting for 30 seconds, my nigga. And be mad when niggas is taking too long to get off the bar. Nigga, nigga you just did a hundred pull-ups. Nigga like this. Yo, these niggas, man, word the mother, these niggas jerking my fucking workout. These niggas jerking my motherfucking rep. I used to be like, son, you just did a hundred joints. That nigga be like, nah, nigga, I'm resting too long. I'm resting too long. If niggas is slow like that, niggas need to get on the other bar. This the bar for this the bar for niggas from behind the wall. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, this nigga used to have me laughing, my nigga. This nigga arms. This nigga arms. This nigga biceps, my nigga. This nigga had the Popeye arms. That nigga had legs. He ain't have arms. He had four legs. You heard? That nigga shit was brolic, nigga. That nigga calisthenic game. Like, son, I think some fuck with um weights too. But that nigga calisthenic game, my nigga, niggas was doing a hundred pull-ups a clip, my nigga. And if you could do a hundred a clip, you could do two hundred. At least once or twice. And that's a fact, my nigga, because I found that out the first time I did a hundred push-ups a clip. I thought I only could do 50 until I pushed myself. I was like, yo, you know what? Let me just try this hundred shit. And I did it. It's all in the mind. It's when you counting up, when you thinking about 50, it's going to be 50. You understand what I'm saying? But when you concentrating on that hundred, it's different. The mind controls the body. But anyway, that nigga big on Butch from Franklin, like I said, anybody that was in Franklin with that nigga, that nigga was a beast. That nigga used to have me in tears, crying in tears. Someone's a straight gangster and a thug and a legend from Harlem. Legend. Now, I mean, I met that nigga through my son, Ralph. My nigga Ralph, you know what I mean? Like I said, I was 17, 18 years old. These niggas was in their 40s. You understand what I'm saying? So these niggas was like my fathers. You understand what I'm saying? I met that nigga through my son Ralph. Ralph is another legend from Harlem. Old school nigga. Me and that nigga used to be in horticulture together just smoking weed all day. You feel what I'm saying? But on some G shit, shout out Mr. Leary. But like on some G shit, my nigga, Big on Butch, that nigga used to have me crying, my nigga. We used to be in Franklin, used to be freezing fucking cold. And niggas be coming up top, coming straight to Franklin from downstate and Ulster and shit like that. This nigga be on the walkway, niggas be coming through with they state greens on. They be freezing them state boots. Niggas be, niggas be shivering. That nigga be coming down the walkway like this. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. This ain't the Bronx. This ain't Brooklyn, nigga. This ain't the five boroughs, nigga. This the mountains, nigga. Yeah. Feel that cold, nigga. Welcome. Welcome to the mountains, nigga. I used to be like, yo, this nigga crazy. And nigga be like, yo, niggas be coming up. He like, yeah, uh-huh. This ain't Rikers Island, nigga. You heard? This ain't Harlem, nigga. This Malone, New York. It's real up here. So niggas used to be looking at this nigga like, who the fuck is this nigga with arms like a transformer? Real talk, big arm butch. One of the realest niggas I ever met in my life. I was about to upload the video about the working out, and at the last minute, I remembered another dude. Now, like I said, there was a bunch of dudes in Franklin that was workout monsters. So if you, if I'm forgetting dudes, if you was one of those dudes that was a workout monster, leave it in the comments. I'll make sure to mention you on the next joint. I talk about workout animals. You heard? I almost forgot my nigga Choco. Now, it's two Chocos. One. One Choco was my son from Douglas Projects. Now I mean, I got a crazy story about him coming too. You're, I'm talking about old timer boxing Choco. This nigga was a boxing expert, my nigga. We used to watch the fight. That nigga used to be like, every round, that nigga will tell you exactly how many punches each boxer landed. He'd be like this, 27, he landed 27, he landed 17, and that shit be accurate. That nigga was different when it came to boxing. He knew everything about boxing. My nigga, this nigga was an old nigga. Like I said, I was probably like 17, 18. So, you know what I mean? 
you know, a lot of niggas was old niggas to me, but this dude was gray hair. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all can believe me if y'all want, or y'all ain't gotta believe me. Let me tell you something. When I tell these stories, my nigga, I ain't never trying to make up shit. I was in a lot of different jails, and some of these stories was like 25 years ago for facts. So it's like, I can't even believe I can remember some of this shit. So every once in a while, I might get a little piece of information fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? A name, a place, a date, you're something small. So if you catch one of those inconsistencies, leave the shit in the comment, hit me up, let me know, and I will correct that information on the next video. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, I ain't never making up tales, my nigga. This is the shit that I remember to the best of my recollection. You understand what I'm saying? And I just get excited when I tell it. So I might tell it a little dramatically. You understand what I'm saying? But shit went down, my nigga. But yo, this nigga Choco, old time a nigga. This nigga had 15 years in when I met the nigga. Now I mean, I think he had 15 to life. So you understand what I'm saying? Um, or 25 to life, I'm not sure. But bottom line is, this nigga was in Franklin. My word on everything I love. This nigga told me he did a thousand push-ups in the Max jail when he was in the Maxes. He was he came from Clinton. He like, yo, I did a thousand push-ups every day for the last 15 years. You heard? A thousand push-ups every day for 15 years straight. This nigga body was like a robot body. You hear what I'm saying? He wasn't no big nigga at all. He don't fuck with nothing but calisthenics. He don't touch weights. You understand what I'm telling you? He worked out inside his cell, my nigga. Like I said, if you was there, leave a fucking comment. I seen this nigga do a thousand push-ups straight. You heard? Do you hear what I'm telling you? I seen this nigga do a thousand push-ups straight and take a car and a cigarettes from a nigga in a little day room in Franklin. Nigga like, can't nobody do a thousand push-ups straight. Can't nobody do a thousand push-ups straight. That nigga was like, I can do a thousand push-ups straight. Niggas was like, I got a car and you ain't, you can't do a thousand push-ups straight. He like, you got a car? And that nigga went to his fucking cube, came back with a car. And the whole dorm just came up in there like this. Niggas like, yo, that nigga Choco. That nigga Choco about to try to do a thousand push-ups straight, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's like, what? Everybody getting up out their bed, running to the day room. Niggas surrounding these niggas, my nigga. The rules was, the rules was, he get to take a rest for 30 seconds or however long he want on the floor after every 200. He can't get up, though. He got to do the 200, stay there flat, rest, and then do another 200, 200 a clip. That's the rules. He cannot get up off the floor. You understand what I'm saying? My nigga, that nigga got on that floor, nigga bust that first 200 out, stop, rest for like 10 seconds, five seconds, probably like five seconds, hit another 200. Nigga's like, oh shit. Then he hit the third set. Then the fourth set, niggas like, oh shit, this nigga going to do a thousand. My nigga, by the time he got to the 800, niggas was going crazy. If it was, if camera phones would have existed, this shit have 10 million views on YouTube right now. Niggas was like, oh shit. My nigga, that nigga did that stack. Took that cart and the cigarettes and walked out the day room, my nigga. This nigga was like, 60 years old, maybe 55 years old, my nigga. Life a nigga from Clinton. That's a fat boxing choco. Anybody that remembers son or know son from Clinton, leave a comment, you heard? New York tail, for real, for real. The jail to the strip, 200 gangs the list. In New York, a New York... Afternoon wreck, you heard? A lot of y'all dudes is still in programs. So I'm gonna drop this when programs is over. You heard? But I'm out here. And the yard is nice out here. The herbs a little cold. It's workout weather. It's perfect workout weather. So yo, listen. Peace to the gods. Peace to all the gods, the herbs. Peace to all those out there striving to get that knowledge yourself. You heard today's mathematics is knowledge equality. All be upon the God.
which is me, which is the black man, who is the law, the supreme being black man. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I say black man, it's deeper than skin color, baby. We're talking about black consciousness. You heard we're talking about knowing and understanding that the entire universe was born out of blackness. We're talking about that melatonin that's basically liquid universe. You heard? That's being produced in your brain from the sunlight. You heard? We're talking about knowing and understanding that. We're talking about that understanding that we all come from that. That black universe, that darkness, that carbon-based universe. You heard melatonin is carbon-based. Melanin is carbon-based. So it's all linked up. And we're going to keep climbing that ladder of that infinite knowledge out there. You heard? But um, like I said, when I had came back to Franklin, you heard, it was a total different place. My first couple of days through there, you know what I mean, it was me. You know what I mean, walking around the jail and figuring out who was still up in this motherfucker and who had left, you heard? So boom. So one day, right? This is a story about some real crazy, sh embarrassing shit that happened to me, my nigga. You heard? This is some real foul shit. So, boom. So, I'm going to the mess hall one day. Like I said, I don't even know who's in the jail, who's still here, who left. You heard? I'm just on my way to the mess hall. So, you know, I'm trying to... I just came from Wild Ass Camp Gabriel. You heard? Where I was fucking with a wild mob of niggas. So now I'm back in Franklin. I'm feeling myself more than the first time I was in Franklin. You heard? Now I done seen a lot of action. So, you heard? I'm young and... I'm young and looking forward to more action. So, boom. So I come up in the mess hall. I'm going to... So I'm going to the mess hall. The mess hall mad far in Franklin. You heard? So I'm walking. We going to the mess hall. I'm dolo by myself. So boom, we going on the side of the mess hall That's the furthest from the school building and stuff Like from the main office and all of that So the mess hall that's closest to the yards and stuff, right? So, I mean, I'm walking, I'm like this, you heard? Got my little bop on, you heard? I mean, got my little couple of years in now So now I'm feeling myself, you heard? Got a little 93 number It's like, it's like 95, you heard? So I ain't no new jackass nigga Got my little bot walking to the mess hall like this, right? What's up? What up? All right? What's good? What up? Her? Yeah. Know what I mean, I'm chilling. Boom. I get in line, right? <clears throat> Just so happens the mess hall was under construction, right? So the regular entrance to the mess hall was blocked off. You can't, you can't go that way. You got to line up on the side of the mess hall. And wait to go in on the side of the mess hall through the emergency exit to get up in there. So now that's moving slow. So everybody's lined up outside. You heard? So now I'm like, damn, man. What type of new shit? You heard? Mess halls getting under construction. None of this was going on when I was here. You heard? So it's like, yo, boom. So, so I get in line, right? I'm standing around some niggas. I'm still one of the youngest niggas in the jail. Ain't really nothing around me but niggas in their 30s. You heard? I'm a I'm a 19 year old nigga or whatever. You heard? So I'm standing there, niggas is looking at me or whatever. You heard? Older niggas, they like who this young nigga? You heard? I'm like this. Listen, nigga, I just came from Crazy Camp Gabriel, and I was in here before. And the niggas who was in here that I was fucking with before was goons. You heard? So. Y'all niggas ain't gonna be looking at me like I'm not a goon, you heard? I'm standing on the line and shit, shit moving dumb slow. I'm like, come on, man, niggas got us outside, man, come on, man. Shit moving dumb slow, one nigga at a time moving up. I mean, niggas online cracking jokes about whatever else they cracking jokes about and shit. I'm standing there tough. Moving up one at a time. Real nigga, you heard? But like, yo, so, like I said, we outside on the side of the mess hall. So in Franklin, it's always fucking seagulls flying around. You heard? It's always seagulls flying around. And where do they be at the most? The mess hall, because they trying to eat. And niggas be coming out stealing bread and feeding them niggas and shit like that. So, so I'm standing there and shit, waiting to get in the mess hall. I hear all type of birds over my head. Rock, rock. I'm like, 
fucking birds, man. You heard shit's flying back and forth, mad five, six deep. Blurp, blurp, blurp. I'm like, come on, man. Moving up in the mess hall. I'm like three men from my turn to go inside the mess hall through the through the fire exit. You heard? It's like two more niggas in front of me. I'm like, yeah, nigga, finally, I'm about to get up in this shit. You heard? Fucking outside bullshit. You heard? And I'm standing there. All of a sudden, my nigga, I just felt the fucking shit. Felt like a nigga just hit me with a giant water balloon from the 13th floor. Felt like a nigga just threw a water balloon off of the top floor in Langston Hughes Projects. You heard? That shit just came down on my shit. Boom! Blues! My shit like this. What the fuck? I look, I go like this to my shit. Mad bird shit, my nigga. Shit shitted on my whole face. I ain't had no hat on, no nothing. Shit shitted on my whole shit. Shit was running down the side of my face, you heard? That shit hit my shit like a fucking missile. That shit was like... I was like, I thought a nigga shot me in the face. You heard? That shit was like... I was like, oh! Listen, pigeons and seagulls is different. You heard? Seagulls take human shits, my nigga. This shit caught me with the diarrhea human shit. That shit was like a pound of shit, my nigga. That shit just came down on my shit. My whole shit was covered in shit, my nigga. My whole side of my state greens, the whole side of my face. I was looking like Two-Face from Batman, my nigga. Half of my face was covered in shit. The other half was untouched. Niggas turned around and looked at me. Niggas start crying. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Yo, they shit, yo, nigga shit it on that nigga face. I was like this. Niggas was like, yo, pardon me, son. Yo, pardon me, son. Nah, son. Damn, I'm like. I'm hungry as a motherfucker, nigga. I want to eat. I'm like. I just get off the line and walk back to my house mad tight like this. Whole shit covered in fucking seagull shit, nigga. Looking like fucking two pit, looking like fucking two face from Batman. I'm like this. I hate this fucking jail, nigga. I hate this hub. I hate Clinton. I hate Bear Hill. I hate Altona. I hate Camp Gabriel. I hate every fucking jail in this hub. And I fucking hate Canada too. That's how I was feeling, nigga. Cause we was close to Canada, but I love Canada. Shout out to Canada. But when that bird shitted in my face, I was shitting on Canada too, nigga. This will fucking happen when you 10, 15 minutes from Canada, nigga. Fucking wild ass bird shitting on niggas' faces. You heard? I was pissed, my nigga. I was fucking pissed, you heard? I had to go back to the dorm, nigga. I came back in the dorm like motherfucker, spy versus spy. Because I ain't want nobody in my dorm to see that shit. I was like this. My shit was 007. Boom, 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 boom. My shit was creeping like this. You heard? Went right in the shower, washed all that shit off. Nigga, I was starving, you heard? So that was my welcome back to Franklin, you heard? I was pissed the fuck off, my nigga. Seagulls got me on the first two days back, my nigga. Shit was crazy, you heard? For now, ever since then, anytime birds is up around me, I'll be like this. Get the fuck away from me, nigga. Get away from me with that shit, nigga. You heard? Niggas won't annihilate my face like that. Pause. One on me.